I will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA, not driven overseas. I will support the right to self-custody to the nation's 50 million crypto holders. I say this with your vote. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. As we are all aware, the US presidential elections has ended and the winner is none other than Donald Trump. The result was unprecedented but expected. Trump's victory was honestly surprising, not only to the internet but to the whole world because he had little popular votes, which basically meant that he wasn't appealing to majority of the voters. He wasn't really known to them, and most of the citizens didn't pick him if asked who they wanted as their president. His low popular vote situation was expected because, I mean, he's Trump, he's a rascal. At a point, he even got trialed and had like 30 something felony charges placed on his head. Even during those dicey times, you could still see the fly in him and in his face. He was untamed. Although he was the 45th President of the United States of America, he didn't really appeal to the sentiment of the American people and the world as a whole because of the policies, the radical policies he put in place during his first administration. Fast forward to today and he is the current president-elect of the United States. If we've had enough of Trump, let's take a look at the defeated opposition Kamala Harris. During the Biden administration, she was and currently is the vice president of the United States. She did what she could to assist Biden and rule the country because, well, that was her job and her superior. Joe Biden wasn't doing so well. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she was not qualified to be President. He was flopping as the President of the United States, and her, she being the Vice President, was expected to cover up and assist him. Well, like I said, she did what she could. As opposed to Trump, she had some serious skyrocketing popular votes with the American people. When Biden eventually stepped down from the presidential election race, Kamala Harris took over as his running mate and became the official Democratic candidate for the presidential race and her popularity soared and broke high ranks. Her messages and campaigns also resonated with many Americans, especially the women. It really looked like she would win until fast forward to today and she lost. Personally, I'm not really surprised. It was kind of expected. I'm just sad that I didn't have the money to invest in the Trump and Donald coins. I would have been racking up thousands of dollars by now. You see, Kamala didn't play her games right. From the moment she suspected that Biden could fuck up his presidential tickets and she would be the running mate, she should have begun her plans. Some Machiavellis I know would have even begun sooner. In her messages, she should have talked more on the economy and less on reproductive rights. Her reproductive rights campaigns were good, it attracted women, but she also needed to attract men. Families aren't formed by only women. She could have spoken on topics that aroused the eagerness in men to see reason in her words and give her attentive ears. I guess she forgot about that or she and her campaign team just didn't know. Trump, on the other hand, understood this about the campaign and played his cards right 
by allying with the likes of Elon Musk and Joe Rogan, who are very influential in men's circles and in the internet. He also occasionally made speeches and comments that would appeal to the women too, although he was a bit vulgar. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in, they're eating the cats, they're eating they're eating the pets of the people that live there. You see, Trump understood the game and knew that all publicity is good publicity. So he made sure he did things, went with the times, and made speeches that would always put his name on news headlines and in the minds and the mouths of the American people. Like my garbage truck. This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. And Joe Biden should be ashamed of himself if he knows what he's even doing. And she should be ashamed because she shouldn't let him do it. She's the vice president, but I assume she's acting as the president. She should never have let that happen. Currently, the elections are over and people are back to their normal lives. I really hope the winner, Donald Trump, lives up to the hype he has built around himself and his future administration. No, no matter and notwithstanding however the internet reacts to the result of the election, only the American people truly understand and feel how America is and how the economy is. So if Trump comes on board and runs the economy well, the American people will be very much appreciative. Subscribe, like, share, live.